Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So this video is one that I've wanted to make for just as long as I can remember. As you guys know, I'm a very big Barbie movie fan and so it has just been a dream of mine to have all of the Barbie movie dolls like in my collection. Well, not like all of the Barbie movie dolls because there is a lot of them, but just like the main one from each movie. And so I've been working on it for a while, but I finally have my full collection. And so I thought it'd be the perfect time to rank all of these Barbies and present my rankings to you all uh, for fun, because why not? So we've got 38 dolls to go through today. Obviously I'm just ranking these based off of my own opinion but I did get some outsiders input here and there like when I was having a hard time deciding between dolls I would just send pictures to my friends and they would help me decide which one they thought was better and so I feel like although this is just based off of my own opinion like I feel like it's the right opinion <laughs> um but yeah with all that being said let's just jump right into it so first up we've got Alexa from The Secret Door now this doll I just personally think is ugly <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate the secret door and so it kind of sucks that this is the doll because I really do not like this doll I hate the plastic bit at the top. I hate the little plastic bits on the skirt I don't love the design on the skirt either. It doesn't even go all the way. It's only like half way on the thing I don't like her hair. It's too poofy. and I don't like it Um, I like her shoes actually. That's one thing I will say. That's one thing that it's got going for it I don't hate the shoes. However, you never actually see the shoes because the dress covers it. <laughs> and I'm sure as you can tell, she does sing and light up. So there's that. I can make flowers blue and change their colors too. Pink looks better blue. How amazing. And so she sings I've Got Magic, which I don't hate, but it's not one of my favorite Barbie movie songs. And so I don't need to hear that. <laughs> and so that's Alexa. That's why she's last because I think that she is kind of ugly. If you like her, more power to you. Um, I feel like people are gonna be like, why do you have these dolls if you don't like them? And it's just like, it's just part of the collection, you know? And it's also fun because people can like see my display. Um, I don't display these ones cause they're ugly. Um, but just to like talk about them and be like, hey, do you wanna see some really ugly Barbies? And then I can pull these out and it's just a fun thing. But yeah, I don't like her. And so that's why she's last. <laughs> Okay, so next we've got Mariposa from Mariposa and the Fairy Princess. So that's the second Mariposa movie. And you might be thinking, why does she look like this? And that is because for those of you who don't know, in the movie, she had to hide the fact that she was a butterfly fairy. And so to do that, she would put her wings down like this and have them as like a skirt. And so that's what they were trying to do here. Unfortunately, I don't think it worked very well, especially because to do this, they had to have this big mechanism on the back of the doll, which I just feel like really ruins it. It's just this big annoying chunky thing that like, if I was a kid, I feel like I would just hate this thing. But okay, I'll show you how it does its magic, I guess. Basically, you twist the thing. Oh wait, no, no, no. To open it, you just press this button on her um, necklace. And there's her wings. And I just personally find them to be a bit ugly. I feel like maybe on camera they'll look okay, but I just don't love the color scheme. And I feel like it just looks so cheap. Like her dress is really cheaply made and just everything about this doll. I just feel like she's so like meh. Um, I feel like her shoes are okay, which might be a trend with these um, <laughs> dolls at the bottom of the list, but everything else about it, I just don't like it. And then you twist again to bring it back down. And it's just, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, she's got a braid in her hair like me. That's fun. Um, but yeah, Mariposa, the second one definitely came out a lot after the first one. And so quality had already dipped. And so she was already doomed from the start. And so unfortunately, she is second last. Next, we have a doll who was like in kind of a similar theming to Mariposa and the Fairy Princess. And that is Kara from Princess Power. So her whole thing is that she was a superhero. So they do like a similar thing to the Mariposa doll. And that is that when you press the button on her, what's this called? Her shirt, <laughs> her cape comes out. And so I feel like, like, yeah, it's very similar to the last one, but I feel like it was executed like slightly better. Um, and I kind of like the, the superhero theme. So I'm like, all right. She's also got like this thing on her back that you can use to, I guess, like, fly the doll around um <laughs> and so while I think it's like slightly better than the last one I still don't love it and so that's why she's third last and then you're just supposed to twist her uh legs and it goes back down to normal um yeah <laughs> I just personally don't like her and so that's why she is at the bottom and for the next one, I am a little bit sad that she is this far back, but I just really couldn't have her be any higher up than she is. And that is Barbie from Fairy Secret. 
Um, I don't hate this movie. It's actually one of my favorite Barbie movies. However, I really just don't like this doll. She does have wings on um, the back. They come apart, which I like because then it's not like a big thing on her back like the Mariposa doll. But they don't really click in here very well and so they do fall out a lot. <laughs> and so that's pretty annoying as well. And then also when you do like open them, they don't really go that high. And so I feel like they look kind of awkward on the doll. Um, and so that's that. And then also she's got a thing on her skirt that you pull down. And so you pull the skirt down. <laughs> and so if you thought the dress was ugly before, this is it now. Uh, I don't know. And then you're supposed to pull the string and it goes back up. And I just, I just don't really like this doll. I feel like she's ugly, but again, cute shoes. So she's got that going for her. It just makes me sad that this doll I don't like because like I said, I love the movie, but she just really wasn't doing it for me. Okay, next we have Barbie and her sisters in a ponytail. Now I don't hate this doll, but I also don't love this doll. Um, I really don't like the dress. As you guys know, I ranked it, I think last for my, or I guess I didn't rank it, but like I gave it the lowest rating in my Barbie rating dresses video. And so it kind of makes sense that she would be this far back. Um, and then I also just don't love the big plastic bits like on her belt and her necklace. And I don't like her shoes, believe it or not. The first one that I do not like the shoes. Um, her face is cute, I will say that, and I like her hair, but everything else about this doll I don't like, and so that's why she is farther back on this list. Oh, she is articulated in the knees, which is good. It's the first one, I think, so far to have, um, articulation in the knees, which is nice, especially because she is, like, a horse movie doll, so she's gonna need to ride those horses, so at least they did that. Um, everything else, though... <laughs> <laughs> this doll is a no for me. And number 33, we have Barbie from Spy Squad. And I feel like this one kind of speaks for itself. Like, I feel like just by looking at her, you can understand why I don't like her that much. Um, she's also pretty cheaply made. Like, the material on this coat thing just feels like exactly the same as the Mariposa one. It does come off, which is good. But then underneath it, it's just like this rubbery skirt and the rest is just all plastic. But she's articulated, so that's good. Especially because she's a spy. So she's got to be able to, to go and do things. Um, she also does do some pretty cool spy tricks. So she came with this thing that you put into the back of her, like so. Yeah. And then you get it on a hard surface and she does this. <laughs> Which I guess is kind of fun. And I do like that it can be detached so you're not left with like this big thing on the doll all times. But in comparison to some of these other dolls, I don't love her. And so she's number 33. Next, we have Barbie from Barbie and her sisters in a puppy chase. Um, this doll isn't that bad, honestly. I feel like she's actually kind of cute. I like her face. I like her hair. I like that she comes with a puppy. However, I'm just not a big fan of this skirt. <laughs> or is it a shirt? Like a shirt dress skirt thing? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't like it. Um, and so that's why she's farther back. And also, she's not articulated at all. Like, she just feels really cheaply made as well. And so that's why... I don't like her that much, but she isn't that bad. She's kind of cute. So that's a puppy chase. The next one is quite similar as well. And that is Barbie from Barbie and her sisters in The Great Puppy Adventure. And honestly, I feel like this one and puppy chase are kind of tied for me. The only reason why I have this one above the last one is because I feel like this outfit is like slightly better. Although I hate the shade of blue they use for her jeans. I just feel like it's way too bright and just like, I don't know, I don't like it, but I like the shirt. Um, and she does come with a puppy as well. So that's good. We're on theming with that. Um, and yeah, I feel like she's fine. I like her face and I like her hair. She's got a braid just like me. Um, <laughs> but in terms of the doll, she's quite basic, not articulated. And so that's why she is farther back on the list. At number 30, we have Lumina from Pearl Princess. So our first mermaid of the group and she's quite long. So it's kind of hard to show you guys, but this is what she looks like. And then she's got this part on the bottom that you flip up uh, to make her tail blue, which is fun. And yeah, I don't hate this one. I just feel like she's kind of basic. So I'm kind of like indifferent towards her. And I don't really like this part of her. Like, I don't understand why she needs to flip her tail and have it be blue. Like, I don't know. I guess just like a fun little extra thing. Um, but she's also got a comb in her tail that you can take out and brush her hair with, which is a fun little touch. But overall, I don't know, just in comparison to some of these other ones, I don't love her. And so that's why she is number 30. Next, we have Barbie from A Starlight Adventure. And this one is quite different from the others, mainly because of the fun thing that it does, which I will show you guys in a second. But just based off of like the doll alone, I feel like it's not very good at like being a doll because I don't know, it's not articulated and it's very heavy because of the thing that it has to do. 
Um, and then it's got like rubber clothes and it's just, yeah, I don't know. She doesn't feel like a doll to me, if that makes sense. I do like her hair. I like that she's got tinsel in her hair and she kind of gives me Xenon vibes, which I like. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll show you guys what she does. So she has this flying cat that you attach and it flies in the air, which I haven't done since I got this doll because once I did it, it I realized it was very hard to take this part out, which I just imagine for kids like owning this doll, like it must be so hard to store it because this part is so long and it's so hard to get it out. But anyways, enough talk. Let's see what it does. So you snap it in there. Oh, and then there's a button on the back of her leg that you press and I don't even, okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what she does and so like yeah it's fun but that doesn't like that's not a barbie <laughs> you know like how am i supposed to play with this now like all i do is do this oh. like yeah it's cool but i also just imagine a kid getting so bored with it after like two seconds um but yeah that's starlight adventure Next we have Barbie from A Perfect Christmas. And I actually really like this doll. Like I feel like she looks nice to display, probably just because she's got like a pretty dress on and I like her hair. Um, but I don't like love the dress. Like it's just a bit too poofy and a bit too sparkly for me. Um, but I feel like from afar, <laughs> I feel like it looks okay. Um, although I don't like her jewelry either. I feel like it's just too chunky. Um, she did also come with this little present. So that's a fun little thing that she came with. Um, but yeah, that's Perfect Christmas Barbie. Next we have Barbie from the newest Barbie movie, Barbie and Chelsea, The Lost Birthday. And now I feel like we're getting into the dolls that I don't hate. Like, I don't hate this doll. I feel like she's cute. I wouldn't display her because she's kind of boring. <laughs> but yeah, I don't hate her. I feel like she's cute. I like her dress. I like her little sunglasses that she comes with as well. And then as this was the first Barbie movie that featured Chelsea as the protagonist, it also comes with a Chelsea, which is fun. And then also a bunch of little guys. <laughs> so we've got an elephant, a monkey, and a giraffe. And then there's also a birthday cake that says Chelsea on it and a little present. So you've got a lot of little goodies that come with this set, which I like. Um, and if you want to hear me go more in depth about this, you can click the little eye card because I did do a review of the movie and this doll set as well as another doll set for the movie. Um, so yeah, you can click on that if you're interested. But yeah, I feel like we're getting into the good ones now. Like I don't hate her, right? She's cute. I think she's cute. <laughs> At number 26, we have Barbie from Dolphin Magic. And while she might look a little bit basic, I actually really like her. Like I like her swimsuit. I feel like it's really cute. And I like her hairstyle as well. But then this doll also has so much to her that like you guys won't even believe it. You won't even believe it. So first of all, <laughs> we've got the gemstone dolphin and it does that thing in water, you know, where it like will swim around. So you got that. She also comes with some flippers and some goggles as well as a puppy because of course and a boogie board that the puppy can go on to which is fun but then it gets even better when you bring around the hot water so i brought some warm water because i'm all prepared <laughs> and so basically her top changes color in warm water so you just dunk her in maybe if we can get her in there yeah and then it turns pink isn't that fun i just think that's really cute um, and then of course the puppy does that thing, you know, where you like put it in the water and you suck up the water and then he'll squirt it out of his mouth. Maybe. Yeah, like that. <laughs> and so that's fun. I like how there's a bunch of different things that make it even more fun when you're playing with it in the water. I think that kids will really like that. So I like this doll. 10 out of 10. <laughs> So next we have Blair from Princess Charm School and she honestly might be a little bit higher up than she should be. Like I gotta be honest, she's not the best quality because she did come a little bit after the OG Barbie movies. However, I love the Princess Charm School so much that I really couldn't have her be any lower than this. Um, and she does have some pretty cool features. So basically she's got this like um, twisty thing on her back that you twist and then it shortens her skirt, which is fun. And then she also comes with this little bit that you put on top. So that it looks like her school uniform which is fun you know like it's not <laughs> as good as the og dolls but it's not the worst either and then there's a button you press on the back and it makes her skirt long again and so yeah i don't know i don't hate her <laughs> mainly because i like the movie so much but also she's definitely not the best in terms of quality but i still think she's cute and so that's why she is like what number 25 or something i don't know Next we have, in kind of a similar vein, Barbie from Fashion Fairy Tale. And I remember my sister having this doll when I was little, and I remember thinking it was a really cool doll, and I was really jealous of it. 
Whereas now to have it as an adult, I'm just so disappointed by the quality of it. Like the material is really not very good. And then I also don't like the plastic part on the top. Like I know that they did that so they could do the lights and the song, but also I feel like we really didn't need that. Like I feel like the doll would have been so much better if it was more about the fashion than the effect. I'll show you guys what it does. That's what it does. <laughs> it's not even like get your sparkle on or life is a fairy tale. It's just this. And it goes on for way too long. <laughs> It does bop though. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I was disappointed. Um, the dress also does this thing where you flip it around to her other dress from the movie, which is fun, except for the fact that it doesn't look good when you do that. And so this is what she looks like when you flip it around. And it's really annoying because the Velcro in the back never really stays um, together. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I still have such nostalgia towards this movie and I still really like this movie that I couldn't have this one be any farther back. And I also remember like as a kid really enjoying playing with this one with my sister and so I feel like even though the quality like wasn't as good as some of the other dolls, it still gave me that enjoyment as a child. And so I'm okay with it. Although I do feel like this movie deserved so much better. At number 23, we have Tori from Princess and the Popstar. And here's my thing with Tori. I love her when she's in her princess look. I think she looks great like this. The quality of the dress is awesome and the sparkles at the top, like everything about this dress, I love. The only thing I don't love is when she's in her pop star uh, form. So I will show you what that looks like. Basically, you pull that off and then there's some strings in the back that you pull and like, she looks okay right now, right? Um, just wait. <laughs> You then turn her head and so then she's got pink hair and it just it's not a look for me Maybe I could style it to make it look better, but I just feel like it doesn't look very good in my own personal opinion Um, she does also sing though, which is fun. So you press the little heart on her necklace and then I don't like this song though <laughs> We want We want to have fun We want <laughs> I don't like that song, but she does also sing Here I Am, the good song from the movie. <laughs> Never a doubt now. And so I feel like that makes it worth it because Here I Am is a bop and I love it. Um, so I feel like when she's in her princess form, she's great. Pop star form, not as much, but I do give them points for creativity. Also, I love her shoes. I feel like they're awesome. Um, but yeah, that's Tori. <laughs> maybe she's higher up than she should be, or maybe she's lower than she should be, but it's my list and I make the rules. So <laughs> that's Tori. Next up, we have Kristen from The Pink Shoes. And this doll, I feel like is okay. <laughs> and so that's why she's like in the middle. Um, she also does this fun flippity dippity thing where you twist her, um, oh, did I do it the wrong way? Yeah, okay. You twist her legs and now she has a blue skirt instead of the pink skirt. And I actually really like the blue skirt better. I feel like it's more poofy and fun, but I don't think it really goes very well at the top, which makes me sad. But overall, I like this doll. She's kind of basic and whatever, but I think she's cute. And so she's here. <laughs> now I'm regretting all of my choices, but I've already done this list. I don't want to redo it. Next we have Princess and the Popstar part two with Courtney from Rockin' Royals. So this doll I feel like is definitely like more cheaply made than the Princess and the Popstar one, although I do feel like it still is better for some reason. I don't know, I just feel like she's a cuter doll than the other one. And so this is her in her princess form and then you flip. And now she's in her rock star form which I like. I like how it sings the song when you flip it and you can also press the button on her necklace and she'll sing the song as well. And yeah, I don't know. I like how they did her hair all one color because I feel like it's a really nice shade of pink and you don't have that weird like head twisting thing like you do with the other one. And I like her face. I feel like her face is really cute and her little tattoo I like. And so that's Courtney from Rock and Royals and she wins for me. I feel like she's a cute doll and I like her a lot. So the next doll is a little bit different. So prepare yourselves. Uh, next we have Thumbelina from Thumbelina. Um, and I think she's really cute. She's very different, obviously, and a lot smaller than the other Barbies. And they did do a Barbie for this movie as well. That was like your typical Barbie, but I felt like this was like the main doll from the movie. And so that's why I got this one. And then she also comes with this like floral petal thing that you put the doll in. You can get it around her hair. Eh. And so she sits in there like that. And then you pull this thing in the back and then you can press this button 
and bam, there she is. <laughs> I don't know, I think she's cute. She's not one of my favorites, but I do still really like her and I think she's cute and so that's where she is. At number 19, we have Barbie from Video Game Hero. And I don't know how other people feel about this doll, but I actually really like her. I love her little pigtails and the little pink streak she has in her hair. I actually call her my Soy Luna Barbie movie doll because she reminds me of Soy Luna, you know, she's got skates and I feel like this outfit is something that Luna would wear. Um, but she's also cool because when you roll her, her skates light up, which is fun. And then also similarly to uh, the Spy Squad doll, she has one of these things that you click into her back. And then she does tricks. Oh, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but yeah, she does tricks. Oh, I don't like the noise against the table. But there she is. I'm sure I could get better at this if I was a child. Um, but I'm not. So, <laughs> I don't have time for that. Uh, but I still feel like she's cute and I like that that thing can detach, so. That's fun. <laughs> Number 19. Next we have Barbie from Princess Adventure. And so she is from the second newest Barbie movie to come out. Like Princess Adventure came out just before Lost Birthday. And I feel like this is what I wanna see more of from Mattel. Like I feel like this doll is just perfection. I love her outfit, great quality on the outfit. Okay, <laughs> kind of a lie. I don't love the outfit that she's in, but I still feel like it is great quality. And so I love it because of that. The only downside of this doll is that she's not articulated at the elbows or the knees. And I feel like if she did have that articulation, she probably would have been even higher up on this list than she is, but I still love her. I feel like she's really cute. Um, she also comes with a lot of accessories, which we love to see. So I've got them all right here. <laughs> so she came with a little puppy, which is cute. Some sunglasses, which is fun. You can put them on the doll. There you go, see? Little shades. And she also comes with this necklace that you can put on the doll as well. Um, and a purse that she can wear. <laughs> uh, and a cell phone that she can hold. And also another pair of shoes, little pink shoes. I like the shoes that she's wearing now better than these ones, but I still like that they gave us the option, you know, to switch it out. And yeah, I feel like this doll is great. 10 out of 10, Mattel, good job on this. Please give us more of this. This is what I want. Thank you, that is all. At number 17, we have Eden Sterling from A Christmas Carol. And I love this doll so much. I feel like now we're at the really good dolls because I feel like this one is just gorgeous. She's very different from the other Barbie movie dolls, but I don't care. I feel like it works so well and I love her dress. It's so poofy and awesome and velvety and I think it's really beautiful and I love her hair. Her hair is so cute. <laughs> she also comes with this cat and so he's here as well. Um, he's kind of stained. He's got some purple on him, but that was from me. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but yeah, that's Eden and her cat. I think they're really cute and I think that, yeah, great quality. 10 out of 10. Next we have Liana from The Diamond Castle, and I'm sure most of you know why this one is a bit farther back, but for those of you who don't know, you are in for a treat. So basically she has this thing on the back of her that you twist, and it transforms her dress. But the only thing is it doesn't stay, and so it just looks really awkward and weird, and I'm like, why did you do this to me? And then you twist it back, and it doesn't make a noise. So that's fun. Um, she does also sing, which is great because, you know, it's a musical movie, which we love to see. So that's fun. She also sings Connected, too, because, of course... <laughs> I like the original better, but I respect Connected as well. Um, yeah, she's cute. I just really wish they didn't ruin her dress like this because if her dress was just normal, I feel like she could have been even higher up on this list. She does also come with this mirror from the movie, which is a brush on the other side, which is cute and fun. And so yeah, that's Liana. I still love her. I'm just... I'm so disappointed about the dress because she could have been so much better. Moving on to Corinne from The Three Musketeers. I really like this doll. I think she's really pretty. She also does this fun thing where you can take off her skirt and the skirt turns into a cape, which is cool. So she can be a musketeer. Although, oh no. 
Although I do feel like it doesn't look very good. <laughs> like I feel like it definitely works better as a skirt, but you don't need to have that as on as a cape. You can also just have her like this, which I feel like looks really good as well. I love her boots. She also comes with this sword, which is fun. So she can be a musketeer. Don't know where to put it on. I'll put it there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and this big brush, which is fun. So you can brush her hair. And then her mask also lifts off of her head so it can be there. And then you can put it back on <laughs> like it was before. And I like her. I think she's pretty. She's fun to display too because she, yeah, she looks good. I like her. Next up we have Alina, our first Alina doll of the video. This is Alina from Barbie Fairytopia Magic of the Rainbow. And so she's fun because she actually serves as a remote for this Fairytopia DVD game. And so she is the remote, which I think is cool, but I also love that she's still great quality. Like she still works as a doll. Like her wings are material uh, and so is this and her hair and makeup is super cute and super pretty. And so I like Alina a lot. And so 10 out of 10 <laughs> on this one as well. She's definitely like the least best Alina. Like she's ranked the lowest, but I still feel like she's pretty. <laughs> like she's the bottom, but she's still good, you know? So I feel like now we're in mermaid territory, so just prepare yourself for mermaid dolls. First up, we've got Merlia from Mermaid Tale 2, and I feel like this doll is awesome. I love her so much. So this is her in her mermaid form, but then what's great about her is she also comes in human form as well. And so here she is with her little bathing suit on, and then you take her tail and you pull this thing, and then bam, you've got a surfboard, which is just awesome. We love to see it. Uh, and then she's got these little things that you put her feet in, and then... She's ready to hit the waves. Oh, and then you can use this thing as a strap for her foot. <laughs> and I just feel like this doll is so cool. I love her. And then she also does some fun stuff in water, which makes it even better. So this time, instead of dolphin magic, it was warm water. This time it's icy water. And so I got some icy water ready to go. So I think it is the tattoo that changes color. And I read something about her streaks two which i'm curious to see so i'm just gonna try to put it on um <laughs> i don't really see a change but maybe it looks darker maybe i need to put her in there i don't know if i'll be able to get her in there uh, <laughs> i don't know i feel like the tattoo kind of looks the same um but then i guess something's supposed to happen with the streaks too Oh yeah, I feel like there were some more streaks. <laughs> Guess I could dunk her head in. I don't know. Do you guys notice a change? I feel like it looks the same to me. It looks the same to me. Maybe my water isn't cold enough. I don't really know. I guess maybe it got darker, but I'm also just wondering if it's because it's wet now. <laughs> Or maybe it just doesn't work anymore because this doll is quite old. But either way, I still feel like she's a really pretty doll and so I love her. At number 12, we have our second Alina doll and this is Alina from Mermaidia, the second Fairytopia movie. And she is just gorgeous. I love this doll so much. So this is her in her mermaid form and then you pull this tail off and it turns into her in her fairy form. So I'll show you guys that now. There she is. How cool is that? I just feel like she's so pretty. The only downside is I feel like I wish instead of the wings being like this way, that they could have been like front facing, like more like this. Um, just because, I don't know, I feel like that would have been better. But either way, I still love her and I think she's gorgeous and I would have just loved her as a kid because she is just such a beautiful doll. Um, and yeah, what more else can I say besides I cannot believe that this was like Mattel's quality back then. Like how pretty is her face and her hair? I mean, it's a bit ratty right now, <laughs> but I imagine her hair looked a lot better when she first came out and just, yeah, I love this doll so much. I can't believe she didn't make the top 10. I'm a little bit questioning my own judgment here, but <laughs> I still feel like she's really pretty and I love her a lot. Next, we have Merlia from the first Mermaid Tale movie, and I just love this doll so much. She is definitely one of my favorite dolls of all time. I just think she is so beautifully made. Um, so this is her in her mermaid form. Of course, she does change into human form as well, so I'll do that. Basically, you take off the tail, and then it becomes like her sweater. Okay, and here she is in her human form. I love that she's got on her hoodie from the movie, and I love that her toes have 
nail polish on them. I don't know if you can see that, but I just feel like that is such a nice touch and I've never seen a Barbie with nail polish on their toes before. And her little flip flops too are just so cute and I love her so much. She also does some water changing effects. So I'll put her back in her tail and we will get that icy water back out and try out these effects. Okay, so we're back. I've got the water ready to go. I'm just gonna try this way first to see if her tattoo does anything. I might have to dunk it all the way in. I feel like I'm noticing a bit more already. Can you guys see that? Is anything happening? Okay, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's definitely more going on there with the tattoo with the icy water, which I think is cool. That's really fun. Uh, and I'll try the hair now, because maybe it was this one that had the hair change and not the other one. Does that look better? I kind of missed what it looked like before. <laughs> Did her hair change? Maybe the streaks got better? If so, that's cool. <laughs> But I feel like something did happen there because I think beforehand the streaks kind of stopped. Oh, now I'm getting water everywhere. Um, whereas when you put it in the ice water, then she got streaks all through her hair, which I think is really cool and a lot of fun. And I'm really happy that I have this one so high up because I just love this doll so much. I think she's beautiful and I love her. So that's Merlia. All right, so we've reached our top 10 and at number 10 we have Odette from Swan Lake. And so I feel like some people might be surprised to see this one only at number 10 because she is a part of the original three. And while I do love this doll, there's just a few other dolls that I like more than it. And so that's why it's number 10. But I do still love her. I think that she's gorgeous. I love her dress and just everything about her. She's just so sparkly and swan-like and I love her. She also comes with wings and so you just put the wings in her back like so. And then bam, she's a swan. <laughs> and then you can press a button on the back of them and they light up. Woohoo! Uh, and then there's also a thing you can pull so you can make the wings retract. Mm. And so they're not up all the time, which I think is good. And yeah, like I said, you can also remove them so you don't have to deal with this thing. Oh, <laughs> on her back. It's similar to, what was that other one? Oh, um, Fairy Secret. These do fall off pretty easily. But I still like that they are removable so you don't have to deal with this on the back of the doll all the time. Um, I actually didn't have this doll growing up. I had the other version of Odette that came with like the little swan. I think it was like the more budget version, but she was still really great quality. And so I feel like that's why I don't have as much attachment to this one because she isn't the one that I had, but I just still love her a lot. I think that she is gorgeous and I love her. So that's Odette. Oh, I also forgot to mention that Merlia the, from the first movie came with this dolphin. <laughs> And I think that it did squirt water as well, but I forgot to talk about it, so that's that. Next up we have my girl Annika from The Magic of Pegasus, and as some of you guys might know, that is my second favorite Barbie movie, so I might be a little bit biased to this doll, but I also just think she is beautiful. I love her crown and her little shawl with the feathers on the end, and it's just such a sparkly outfit, and I love it so very much. It also does the flippy thing like fashion fairy tale, so I can do that for you guys now. Um, basically you just flip it around and then she's in a little white dress which is really pretty as well. It does make the dress itself a little bit more bulky but I still feel like it was done so much better than it was on the fashion fairy tale doll. So just give me a second and there we go. Now she's in her other outfit. I personally like her other one better just because I feel like it's more iconic but I like that we are given the option to flip it around and try something new. And then of course she does come with the wand of light, which is a perfect size for the doll and for the kid to play with as well. I remember playing with this as a child. I had this doll as a kid and I was just obsessed with it. Um, and then you can also press the button and it lights up, which is super fun and cute. And so yeah, I love this doll a lot. And so that's why she is in the top 10. Okay, next we have Ro from The Island Princess. And I just love this doll so much. I think she is so beautiful, which is funny because I feel like I ranked her dress kind of low in my Barbie rating dresses video. Whereas I feel like on the doll, it just just works perfectly like I love this dress so much I think it is beautiful she also has a thing in the back where once you flip it up BAM peacock feathers and then you can put them back down if you don't want them up all the time but what's also great about it is you can also just take it out completely and so now she doesn't have this big thing on her back if you don't want it to be there but it's great also because it doesn't just like fall out whimsily like the very secret one like it actually sticks in there when it is in there um, and then she also sings of course because it's a musical oh her shoe came off <laughs> And then she also sings Here on My Island because of course the sea say hello. <laughs>
it is a bit hard to get back in there but that's okay because it stays in so that's Ro she also comes with the red panda I forget his name I apologize oops <laughs> and a hairbrush so she's great I love her so much okay so this doll might look a little bit different because she's supposed to be more modern she's more like a teenage Barbie but I still feel like she had to be this high up because her quality is just top notch and I just love this doll so much. I feel like she's so cute and like the attention to detail on her jeans with like this thing that comes up the sides of them and her belt and her little thing that covers her shirt. And then she also comes with a little charm bracelet just like in the movie and her hair is just awesome the way it's like crimped and stuff. Like everything about this doll I just feel like was done so well. And then she comes with so many accessories. So she's got her little guitar and the amp that does play music. <laughs> just played the same thing again well it's actually the second line is actually don't forget to always work the room but that's okay <laughs> and it also does that song too and then she also has a bunch of accessories so she comes with this purse oh her shoes do not stay on so i'm taking them off <laughs> so she comes with this purse which is kind of ugly but very early 2000s um as well as some little things so we've got i need to put her down <laughs> so we've got some cds little cardboard cds which is super cute and okay <laughs> and some sheet music and some other things in there as well as a little diary because it's barbie diaries and so she has a little diary and a little pen like just this attention to detail on these dolls back in the day were just like i can't even wrap my head around them and like how far mattel has come since then i'm just like what are you doing mattel what happened to this <laughs> bring this back i actually remember having this pencil and it does work so you can use it in the diary which i just think is cute and i just love this doll a lot and so that's why she's number seven so at number six we have one of the most beautiful dolls i've ever seen in my entire life and that is of course mariposa from mariposa she is just gorgeous like these wings are just everything to me and then what's great is that they can also flip in so you can go like this oh i should move her hand out of the way um and they close and so and then you can have her like this if you want to have her like this. I don't know why you would want to have her like this because her wings are just so gorgeous. And so you can press this button on the back and bam. Oh, I should have moved her arms. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> okay, arms up. Press the button. Bam, there she is. And what's great is that you can take the wings off. The only thing is that like this big thing on the back doesn't remove itself. So it's not like completely just the doll afterwards but I still feel like this doll is just so beautiful and I love her so much. <laughs> I love her outfit, I love her shoes, I love her headband and her little pink streaks in her hair. Like this doll is just gorgeous and I can't believe it was after my time because like I don't know I'm just jealous <laughs> that you guys got to play with this and I didn't because she's gorgeous and I love her how she hangs on my wall. She looks so pretty. Um, so thank you Mariposa, you're beautiful and I love you. At number five we have the beautiful Genevieve from the 12 Dancing Princesses and I think this was one of the first dolls that I got as an adult. Like I got Erica and Annalise and then I think I got her for a video but also because I wanted her and so I'm just so happy that I have her because I think that she's so gorgeous. So she looks like this, her dress also spins as well so let me move her hands out of the way. And then bam, she spins. And so it's kind of like one of those parade toys at Disney, uh, but better because it's Genevieve and she's just so pretty and I love her so much. Like the detail on her top is just everything and she's just gorgeous and I love her. She also comes with Twyla. She looks like this and she's on a little thing because I think she's supposed to be like a Christmas ornament. Um, but either way, I love her and I love Genevieve and I think she's beautiful and I love her. <laughs> like look at her, she is so gorgeous. They just really don't make dolls like this anymore and it makes me sad. So I'm a little bit sad that this next doll is only at number four, even though that's like a pretty good ranking, but I just love this one so much. And that is Rapunzel from Rapunzel, of course. She's just gorgeous and I love her. I love her dress. I love her hair. It's not that long, but she does also come with this extra hair piece to make it even longer because she's Rapunzel. She needs that long hair, you know? And so usually when I have her displayed, I have the little hair piece on it, but 
I wanted to show you guys the length of it originally. So this is what it looks like with the hair piece. And then she's also got this thing in the back of her that looks like this. And so you pull the string and then her hair shrinks and you can pull the hair back out just like that. And so it's kind of like the Rose Princess Barbie, but better because it's Rapunzel and she's just so pretty. Can we just look at her for a second? Like she's so gorgeous. I love her. She also comes with a hairbrush just like from the movie and it's so big because when you press the middle it sings well it doesn't sing but it plays the tune of constant as the stars above from the movie see <laughs> it does do it in this weird like 8-bit kind of melody which kind of pierces my ears a little bit but I still love it it's very like early 2000s she also comes with these little flower barrettes that I don't know how well you guys will be able to see, but I'm trying here. <laughs> you can also probably see all of the glitter on my hand from all of these dolls. Uh, she also has this little mask for the masquerade ball. And then it also comes with some masks for your other dolls as well. Like how perfect is this doll? I just love her so much. And so that's why I just had to have her be this high up on the list. Coming in at number three, we have Alina from Fairytopia, the very first Alina. And can we just take a second to appreciate this doll because she's just so beautiful that like, it leaves me speechless. Like. She's perfect and I love her. I love her rooted eyelashes and her makeup and her outfit is just so pretty and sparkly and her tattoos, like, I love her so much. <laughs> and I love her shoes as well and her wings are so pretty and they also light up, which just makes it even better. Like, this is just the perfect doll. I don't know if you can get any better than this. Well, I guess you can because there are two more above it, but I feel like they're all kind of very close to one another right now because I just love this doll so much. I think she's so beautiful and I love her. She also comes with Bibble, so I don't really know if you can get any better than that because he is like one of the best Barbie movie characters. Like him and Preminger are just top tier. And so, yeah, I really like this doll. I think she's really pretty and I'm really happy that I have her because I had her as a kid and I loved her and I can see why because she's so pretty and we love her. All right, next up we have my girl, Annalise. She is gorgeous and I love her so much. And I'm sure a lot of you are surprised to see her only at number two because as you guys know, Princess and the Popper is the reason I breathe. However, there is one doll that I feel like has done better than her, but that being said, I still feel like Annalise is my favorite doll out of all of these. And so I had to have her at number two. Maybe I'm biased. No, I am biased. I'm 100% biased, <laughs> but I still love Annalise a lot. I think she's really beautiful and she does sing as well. If I can find the button. There we go. And then she also sings just like you with Erica, but she's over there and I don't feel like getting up. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. I'm just like you. You're just like me. It's something anyone can see. She's so pretty. <laughs> I'm just like the detail on this dress is so beautiful and I love it. <laughs> It also just fills me with such nostalgia. She also comes with Serafina, and then Erica comes with Wolfie, because, you know, what are these girls without their cats, you know? Anyways, I love Annalise, and so that's why she's number two. So if you've been keeping track, then you probably know which Barbie is left to be number one. If not, then you are in for a treat, because at number one, we of course have Clara from The Nutcracker. I am just obsessed with this doll. I don't think I've ever owned a doll as beautiful as this doll. She's just gorgeous beyond belief and the attention to detail on her is just like like not like any other barbie doll i've ever owned <laughs> which is insane because she was just like your normal playline doll like she wasn't even a collector's edition doll which just blows my mind that they used to have this much attention to detail on a doll but basically the bodice is beautiful she's got so many sparkles on it and the dress comes in two parts so like you got the bodice well actually it comes in three parts you got the bodice and then two skirts so like this part of the skirt comes off and it ties in the back and it's just ugh, perfection then her tights are so pretty as well and they have little laces at the back of them to like kind of like emulate the effect of a ballet shoes and she's just articulated in so many places it's just like insane to me like even at her ankles and her knees and her arms and just oh, I love this doll so much she's so pretty her hair too is so long and curly I mean it's a bit of a mess right now but you can get the gist and when I opened her she came with like a hairnet to make sure her hair was safe and I was like well, first of all, I was kind of stressed because I was opening a doll that was inboxed. But second of all, I was just like, how has Mattel gone so far from this masterpiece? Then she also comes with so many things. So she has a stand here that you put her in and she dances in. And then you can also get the prints and they dance together. Like how perfect can you get? Which I'll show you guys that in a second. But I wanted to touch on the other details that she came with first. 
So she also came with these little, um, I think they're like hair stickers, but they're little um, flower things that I think you stick into her hair. Or just like whatever, I guess you could put those wherever you wanted. Um, and then she comes with a classic Barbie brush and this thing. <laughs> so it's an elastic thing that you're supposed to like wrap around her hair and then you can put it up on the crown. So it like sits like this, but I feel like it looks kind of weird. So I'm not gonna do that, but that's what that's supposed to be for. And then she also has a little cardboard nutcracker that she can carry around with her, which is just so cute and adorable. And I love it so much. <laughs> so now I'll show you guys her in the stand thing. So let me get her in here. So she sits in there like this, and then you roll it on the floor and she spins. And I'm just like, I wish I had this doll as a kid because she's so pretty and I love her so much. And so that's my number one Barbie movie doll. <laughs> I don't know if people agree with me that this one is the best one, but like, I'm sorry. Once I saw her in person, I was like, nothing beats this doll. She is the most gorgeous doll I've ever owned in my life. And so that's why I just had to have her at number one. But I wanna know which Barbie movie doll is your favorite. So don't forget to let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because I've never asked for that before, but I feel like I hear people do that. And so I feel like I should ask for that. <laughs> so like this video if you liked it. Uh, anyways, Kater Tots, that is all I've said for today. Hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Oh my gosh, I have a lot to clean up. <laughs> like I'm literally surrounded by dolls which honestly, I'm okay with. <laughs>